Hey guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. It's Cheryl. Thanks for joining us, Cheryl. Don't forget to check yeah. out her awesome channel. Yes, Blue Inspiration TV. You can watch us, me, actually suffer. Yes, that was eating vegan. vegan that was so much fun. That was not. I want to do it again sometime, let's never guys. Do that yeah, ever again. I think a lot of people wanted to see you tor being tortured. Let's let's never do that again. That was I literally I don't know what happened, but I think I blacked out. <laughs> I blacked out. <laughs> anyway, today we're gonna find out with you because you can play at home with us. Yes. How Asian are your parents? Anyways, guys, we made up a quiz, so play along with us, grab a piece of paper. Basically, if you answer yes to a question, mm -hmm. give yourself a point, okay. and at the end, we'll count up the points, All right. and we'll see one. how Asian are you. There's still winners here. Oh. <laughs> this contest will not have a winner. Oh, really? So you came here today thinking that we're gonna like compare. Yeah. Like, hey, my parents are more Asian than yours. That's basically Look, what she came there's, there's no winners in this contest. Oh, okay. Is there a loser? Well, I think we're all losers. <laughs> no. No, guys. Just kidding. All right, so all let's right. get started. Let's get started. So the first one is they currently own or have once owned a Chinese restaurant. Oh, that's me right there. Yes. We have like, <laughs> we, have, we, we are still currently owning a Chinese restaurant. I've been a restaurant, restaurant kid for the majority of my life. Literally from when I was when I was like just came to the U.S. till till college, I was a restaurant kid. Wow. How many did they own? Uh, three. Dang. Oh. Not like together. Like one closed, oh. two closed, three. Oh, it wasn't a franchise. No. No oh. franchise. I thought they won. You said no. Nah, they like, only like <laughs> one, and then it closed <laughs> down. <laughs> you go three restaurants. Yeah. No, okay. Right now I'm like that too. I have my parents own like three in the fast food. Know the fast food. So, so white yes. people food restaurant. Yeah, white business. people Chinese food. Parents didn't own a restaurant. Like the that's work ethic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one is um they've checked for ripeness of fruits by picking each one up, knocking on them while listening. How else do you do it? Not no no. Just more. randomly just, picking you one. You can't just randomly pick a melon. Yeah, you don't. I don't check, check nah. for ripeness. You, you just, gotta you just do the door knock, especially when it comes Dang. to melons. Yeah, gotta listen for yeah. that ripeness. Cause you know nobody taught them that. Cause they didn't teach me, so I don't know how to check. Oh uh, no, it's it's something that's passed down through the DNA. I just do it. I never know, you know how, how to check. Like, you know how like lions they hunt yeah. for their kids <laughs> to see. You go with your parents to the grocery store. They tap on the melon. Okay, so what's the sound? What are you supposed to, what are you hearing? I have no idea. The, oh, you just know. When I get, try to get a melon, I just, I go, which one do I get? And yeah. I'm like. See, you, you didn't hear the, uh, the I didn't get that. that we all Cause should the, have. Cause they didn't show it to me. You're not Asian. <laughs> Number three. They perform the Asian squat in random places in public. It's, it's every Asian, every Chinese parent does that. No, my parents don't do that. Yeah, my parents don't No, no, have you, well, did you see them in China? No, I don't think, no, they don't do that. Never they seen them do they it. don't squat around? No. No, my parents squat But like around. where though? Like randomly, random, anywhere. Just, like, just like, like less in this country, but in China, yeah, it's like, hey, I'm at the bank. Squat. <laughs> so, my parents never did that. That's how I don't even, I don't even, like when yeah, you, you and I try to, you cannot do the I Asian fall, squat. I fall back. Can you do it? Yeah, I can do it, but I choose not to because it's so ugly. Okay, so Mike's, Mike got that one. They always speak to you in Chinese. Yes. Yeah, that one's, that one's. Given. Although or, I have war yeah. any other language that you're from. Yeah, any dialect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Japanese just they yeah. don't speak to you in English no. basically. Mm, right. So your parents do not. My parents do, yeah. In they, Chinese. Yeah, they speak to me in Chinese. So I'll tell you, my, my dad, although my dad only speaks to me in English. But like my girlfriend, Yi's parents, uh, they actually the mom always speaks to her in English. So it does happen. Like cause some people will be like, how come why would they ever speak to you not in Chinese? But it does happen. Yeah. But okay. actually my family's like sort of adopted Chinglish. But I feel like yeah. like true like real real Asian parents like they just don't. Nah, know. My they parents try. always. We can come home. Time for Chinese. Short one. Oh, and and they'll even go a step further. If you try to speak English to them when you're little, they'll be like, "Why you oh, speak? Why you trying to teach you their, yeah. your culture, your heritage?" That's, right. That's, That's right. how they can do it in their little world. That's right. Okay, next one. <clears throat> They've asked for hot water and white rice at a Western restaurant. Either or. Yes. Yeah. Hot you know water. where? Where? Two Michelin star <laughs> Italian place, Maria, Central Park, oh. took them there. My mom, hot water. Oh mom, mom, gosh. what was your favorite dish here? Oh, hot nigga, hot. Mian fei de mian bao. The free oh, bread. Oh, the they free always bread. do that. The free oh, bread is like I'm what like, they it's, oh my god, I took you to a nice place. And after the, afterwards, you can tell they didn't enjoy it. They did Afterwards, not. they did not enjoy it. And my, but then my parents did the obligatory like, xie xie ni Thank like, you. All right, but you, you hated it. Thank you, son. So nice. 
But your parents say that too, right? Of course. Yeah. My mom, my mom's asked for hot water before. Just hot, just a cup of hot water. Um, yes. Okay. Next one. They've gotten into fights and near violent battles while fighting over the dinner bill, usually with friends or relatives. Of course. Yeah. Like serious. Like goes More on for China hours. Here. Yeah. Because that's mm. where the Chinese conjugate yeah. in China and fight over bills. I've seen it here in America. Like if my cousins come to visit, I mean like. I'm, I'm embarrassed because yeah. you know everyone at the restaurant's like, just, we don't care who pays. Yeah. Just somebody pay. And they're, you know, like the person's holding the check and they, they literally will try to like jump over the table to grab the check. Like, I, I'm like, somebody's about to get hurt here. Okay, next one. So they have more than one piece of furniture, electronic, or appliance at home wrapped in plastic. Yo, I used to have a wrapped in plastic. <laughs> you know, you're talking about your remote. Yeah. Your, like, does your parents have something at home, whether it's furniture, remote, that they wrap in cellophane, plastic? I don't think so. When when people buy new cell phones or electronic and they have that plastic yeah. thing on it, you gotta rip that off. No. Nah. Leave it up. Keep, keeps it new. But your parents didn't do that? No, didn't no, really? my parents didn't. They know how to do a Qigong. Of course. Yes. <laughs> we all just... Make me do Qigong when I was like five. Yeah, that was the whole. My mom every morning would be like, "Get up, get yeah, qigong." I'm like, oh, "Yeah." So she's like, "Put your hand here. Think of a fireball in your <laughs> diaphragm." I'm like, "Okay." Wait. She's like, "Let me feel your hands. Is this sweaty?" No, that you did not pay attention, dude. Is this what is this like Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, is there a crazy. fireball? That was okay. crazy. Although my my grandfather too, he used to be like, "Hold out your hand," uh, and I'll be like, he will be like, "Do you feel?" I'm like, "But I don't feel anything, Grandpa." Like, anyways. Oh wow, you guys are your kids. Mine was actually like pretty normal. I had a pretty normal childhood. But your mom, when I mean, your mom or dad knew Qigong. Yeah, I mean, Plus. like we all did pretty much Qigong when we grew up. That's why we're so healthy. And we do Qigong now, all of us. Yeah. That's right. That's why we're so healthy, even though he eats so much meat. They once made you an awful tasting herbal medicine of when course. you were sick. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Who doesn't? Chinese medicine. That's oh. why I don't drink coffee nowadays. Because it tastes... What, what do they make you? Do you remember? Herbal medicine. Just was so bad. All right? Chinese herbal medicine tastes the same. Yeah. The same bitter, extreme bitter. You guys think you had bitter? You never had bitter. It is... Chinese herbal stuff. It is so... And you know it's coming, it right? you. It's like this black, it's like this dark brown black liquid. And you know the Mary like, Poppins song? Yeah. A spoonful of sugar makes the medicine. No, not no, for that in this that case. That does not. Not in this oh, case. No. Oh. That sugar does not, I mean, it's like the sugar battling the bitter is like, yeah. it's like a little ant trying to make his way, like fighting oh my an gosh. elephant. It's just not, Whew. it's not gonna work. Yeah. But actually, I kind of like that. Oh. You cannot oh. like that. Then you didn't have it. You cannot no, 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 like no, no, no. Some people like it. No, no one I'm, likes I'm it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, some oh people like God. it. That was so bitter, and some it actually like it. physically hurts you. Yeah, you, like, I, I didn't like it, but some people do like it. But do you like bitter melon? No. Mike oh. doesn't like bitter. There's soups. Mike, oh. No, but there are some people that like bitter. I don't even drink and coffee. And his bitter tolerance is that. Yeah. His, he has no bitter tolerance. <laughs> Next one. They don't go out to eat. Yeah, of course they don't go out to eat. Here's the test. Like, how, how often, when you were a kid, did you go out to a restaurant to eat? How often? Never. I, I went once a week, so I can't put a plow. They took me to Chinese restaurants, pretty much Chinese restaurants. They never take because we were poor when we first came here. You also had your own restaurant. No, no, no. when we first came here, we didn't. Oh, okay, so they never, they hardly took you out. They never took me out. So you, okay. So you're putting a yes down because they never. They won't even go out now. Yeah, yeah they don't go out. Because when now. I was little, we were with our grandparents and we never really went out. Mm, okay. Because they like cooking at home for us. And yeah. We didn't mind. Every time I, even the last time I, would, I took him out to dinner here in a Chinese restaurant, my mom kept complaining about how her cooking is better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my grandparents do that. It's like, come on, guys, just enjoy the meal. You know, enjoy yeah, the meal. Yeah. All right, next one. They never said I love you, in Chinese or in English. Of course. They, they don't never say said what well, no, I need. No. Did they say we I, we love you? Woman, no. I need. Oh. <laughs> Your parents don't love you. No, no, no. no they're no. just Asian. No, you don't understand. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's sad. I can never say I love you to my parents. Yeah, I, I would never want them to say it to me because if that does happen, you get the shit. Like the world might explode because <laughs> of the awkwardness that is <clears throat> Bouncing off between us. I, I think that literally is holding the fabric of our world yeah. together. The fact that you've never said that. It can't happen. Yeah, it cannot happen. But you say it to your parents. Yeah, like every time we call. Oh my god. And really? then we're I like, love, okay, I love you, bye. Asian. I mean, I, I say it to my mom. I mean, like, uh, I yeah, mean, I said it. You do something almost worse, which is I you kiss your mom all the time. Yeah. The next one is they've never showed you affection by physical hugging or kissing. Okay, does it count for my dad hugged me once in my life? 
one time doesn't I'm gonna count. Give myself it's a, a point. it's a regular. Yeah. No, no, no. It has to be I a regular that time. So yeah. I was heading back to China. Yeah. He comes over. He's like, uh, ba 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 ni. And I'm like, <laughs> I just stood there going, what is <laughs> happening to me right now? Please stop, stop, stop. I need. And then oh, luckily after that, we had like you know, like an ocean between us. So I, that that helped me get over the awkwardness. <laughs> Do you guys, if you guys knew no Chinese, what Mike just said is probably the most, it hurt my ear. Ba 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 Like, yeah. hey, what, hey. what dad would have to announce that I'm about to hug my son? That's like, son, I'm gonna hug you. I'm gonna hug you now. Do you see that in <laughs> awkward, like, American movies? Not, you know what I'm saying? It's, that, it's normally like, son, come give your father a hug. And so it's safe to say that he's never, never kissed you before. Oh, heck no! And your mom never kissed you no, before. No! See, I find that, that weird. How do you not kiss your mom, dude? Yo! I find that most weird. Most Asians haven't kissed their mom. That's Back me weird, up on this, guys. Team Mike. You definitely kiss your parents. Yeah, I mean, we, we always say, love you, mom. Love you, grandma. Yeah. I even Mike, say, love you, brother. No kissing parents. Bobby. They humble brag about your accomplishments to friends and family. Of course. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, I think all Asian people yeah, all do Asian that. People. It's a specific oh. kind of bragging. Yeah. Though. It's, like, it's like, oh, you're so lucky. Oh, my my da my daughter Cheryl goes to Harvard. You know how expensive that is. You're so lucky. Your son goes to community college. And you save so much money. <laughs> Dude, they they talk is... around it to get their point. Yeah. They're like, hmm. but man, my parents they can't humble brag about me. They're like, my son does theater in college. <laughs> yeah. They can't. And your, your, your Asian parents are uh, Asian parents are never proud of YouTubers. I'm sorry. Maybe they can't Nick right. parent is. Oh, my mom know. is because she's not normal. She, your she, mom is proud. She shows all my video clips to our family members. Really? And I'll tell you right now, our family members they're not proud. Yeah. They're she like, goes, look at my son oh, making YouTube videos. Yo, my parents are like, oh, come like, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. My mom's like, oh, she's on YouTube. She. Tries. I think your your parents are oh. hybrid. So of course, when they're not humble bragging to other people in front of you. The next one is they hold you to unreal standards, and usually they use like someone's kid as an example. Of course. Yeah. When I was little, yeah. Yeah. That, well, when that. they realize I now, wasn't doing that too much, they just kind of give up. Know. It's like so. It's always like Uncle Jack's kids. Uh, he's, he's studying to be a it's doctor. Always. They da da da. You know. And then yeah. everything too. Like if you're a girl and you're not married by the time you're whatever 25, it's like oh look, you know, so and so's daughter got married. You know, he makes money. That all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. Definitely that one. They've never had the where do babies come from conversation with you. Of course not. No, I don't think Asians nope. do that. No. Nope. Never. But dude, Western parents, that that's a that's a coming of age thing. Sure. They sit you down, they use whatever weird analogy they try to use, and they, they will tell you. Mm -hmm. But Asian that, that's for taboo. Us. Taboo oh. subject. And you know what? I'm happy about it because I would never want that conversation to happen. <laughs> Let me can you have conversations with your parents now about no. any kind of no. subject about No. Never. No. no. Probably not. I can talk to my mom about it. Cause, cause you're strange. We can talk. We can talk about it. So they've tried to homeschool you before by trying to teach you any kind of Chinese history, calligraphy, art, you name it. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Well, not just Chinese, but like Korean. If you guys are Korean, yeah. Japanese, yeah. Vietnamese. Yeah. And there's a lot, and everything related to, you know, like my, my parents t taught me calligraphy and brush painting. Yeah. You know, Yi's parents taught her like, uh, you know, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. They tell you that you're not allowed to date until you're done with college. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. They just don't. I mean, they didn't even oh. force it. No, my my mom let me date. I had a girlfriend when I was twelve. Wow. She let me date. Yeah. My, Jeez, my, you're not normal. My parents would have killed me. And school, even in college, yeah. though, they they're not they don't understand that you're in college. You're no, gonna no, have no. a girlfriend. They don't. They never supported it. I yeah. did it anyway. Yeah, but they would always tell you like. They'd be yeah, like, no, I didn't just. just no, even when I was little and then I tried to like put on nicer clothes when I went to school, my parents would be like, what are you wearing? Like it would be like the most normal thing ever and then... While you were in school, they would never let you join Western clubs or activities. Nah, they never did that. They, they, they said you could join stuff? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Cause they never let me join uh, like uh, sports. Um, after, like, uh, no, they wouldn't let me join sports. No, but like Boy Scouts. Was... No. Oh, my brother did Boy Scouts. They, they wouldn't let me do it. I literally cried for a week. I wanted Boy Scouts so bad, and they wow. wouldn't let me do it. Anything I bring up, they're like, nope, can't join that. They always had preserved veggies, pork floss, or fermented tofu in the fridge. Of course. Fridge. Yeah. That's delicious. I have all those things right now. I have those. Oh, and pita, too. Pita. Oh, I, have that, yeah. I like that. You know, I like pita. But they like, your parents must have liked it. Of course. Here's the next one. They gave you red envelope money. Of course. Yeah. I never got a single envelope for my parents that was red. Oh, you. But did you get allowances? I got allowances. See, we really? didn't get allowances. No. You never got allowances? No, allowance, allowance does not exist in the Chinese no, community. Yeah. Per week, yo. No, per week. No, we never got. Any. I got bonuses I, too if I 
finish my chores. Really? No, you don't have to. Wow. Yeah, because all of it is at the end. Because that that's a very Asian it's tradition. Very, yeah. Well, it's a very Western thing to get allowances. That's right. Mm. Not Asian. No. Yeah. My parents never. I have no red envelope. No money. They give me gifts and allowance. So. And finally, guys, your family paid for your college. Yep. Still doing it now. Yep. Pay my college. I mean, it wasn't a lot of money, but that's just that's just the way it is. They, they pay yeah. for your college. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't get allowance. No. Nope. Oh, the whole time they say, the reason why we don't give you money is because mom and dad save all your money for you. You go to for school, college. we pay for your school. That's actually true. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah my parents too, but my parents were called the uh, Sally Mae Bank of um, College Loans. So they that that family paid for my college. Yeah, so. but you had a Western upbringing. Didn't yeah. Pay. So I owe a bunch of loans, just like all my Western friends, because my parents didn't. I mean, they helped me out just a little bit, but they expected me to figure out how to. So count it up, guys. Okay. I only missed one question. I think. Which one was that? I don't know. Oh, I know which one. Oh, it's the sports the, uh, thing. Activity. The sports yeah, one. Activity. Which? Yeah. So you're 19 for 20. I have 20. Oh, you have 20. Oh, 20 for 21. Yeah. Wow. 20 wow. for 21. Yeah, my, my parents are Asian as heck. They're pretty much the most asian -est parents. Yeah. Yeah. What was yours? I got 16. Out of 21. Out of 21. It's like pretty darn Asian. It's yeah, pretty, it's pretty I, Asian. I think your parents are really Asian and um, they have a lot of the traditional things, but also yeah. they're a little, they're adapting. Yeah, my I, parents yeah. are really adapting to like what is the society and environment is like. Is I think your parents are really old school yeah. type. They yeah. don't. Asian. No, adapt, no adaptation. This is how it is, this is how it's gonna be, here it is. That's how it is, yeah. Which I think those two types still yeah. exist today. And my parents are the complete opposite. They are literally, they didn't even have to adapt because they were just, they were like this to begin with. Yeah. They were artists in China. They, you know, like they rebelled, they were like, you know, revolting. So they, when they moved here, they were just like, man, we found an awesome Real. environment where we could do our art and raise our kid. Like, yeah. You know, they had they had some things where you know I felt like this is still relevant, but for the most part, I got 12 out of 21, and uh, yeah, they they hardly done those things. But yeah. I think the thing is, regardless of how many points you get, guys, like it's just fun to illustrate, um, kind of remember your upbringing. But it doesn't mean that if you get 20 out of 20, your parents are you know Asian. If you get zero out of 10, like Yi, like Yi's parents, I gave her this quiz, she she got like two points. Yet her parents, in other ways, are also very. Asian. I mean, I really appreciate like the Asian parents, like how they raise their kids, because that way your kids won't like turn out to be like this kid that like goes about in society doing all this random stuff and like wasting your money and well, some not do. able to manage your stuff. Well, and, some do. Well, <laughs> it's like. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't well, know. I feel like I turned out very successful. No, you you yeah. turned out fine. You're yeah. a fine young lady. Yeah. Well, I think it's safe to say we all turned out yeah. well. We well, okay. I think the <laughs> I think the difference is like um, you you know like the memories you have you know you have good memories you have bad memories. Of course, I think that some of the things like you know in my mind like my parents didn't do a lot to like to like where I'm like oh this, I can't get over this. But uh, some of the things people do they do you know you, you might feel like it hurts you. You know, which I hopefully that didn't happen to you. Well, guys, uh, let us know what your score is. How Asian are your Asian parents? Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much for watching. And be sure to check out Inspiration TV. Check it out. Yay. Bye. Bye. Bye.